Hey, so we're here at Indie PopCon, and I'm talking to uh, Sombra. And um, is it okay if we, if we... I'd love to stay and chat, but I'm not going to. Oh. Okay. Boop. <laughs> Hi guys and welcome back to our coverage of Indie PopCon 2018 and I am here with Carolina Ravassa, otherwise known as the voice of Sombra from Overwatch. Sombra online. Oh wow. <laughs> and uh, and many other things as well, but Sombra is uh, is kind of our our thing cuz we are as you can tell Giant Overwatch fans. I can tell. Uh, thank I saw you. it a mile away. <laughs> so, first of all, how are you enjoying Indy and the pop-up? Is this your first time in Indiana? First time. Yeah. I went jogging. I love to, wherever I go, I love to go jogging around, well, usually near the hotel. Okay. And it's nice when you're in the center. And so I went down by the river or the canal. Right. Um, and I just love seeing the different sites and the kids playing outside. And I just kind of get a feel for the city a little bit. So That's kind of your thing. Like every, every city you go to, you have a jog someplace? Yes. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. Yeah. That's a, that's a if the thing. weather permits. And today it was 86 degrees, which was really humid. Um, right. But I survived. We were very nervous yeah. about the thunderstorms that are supposedly oh. on their way because, okay. like, the electrical equipment and whatnot like that. So yeah. Uh, you may, I don't know if you, do you jog every day? Uh, no. Okay. I try, some but days. some okay. days, yeah. <laughs> I did today. Tomorrow I might go to the gym. We'll see. We'll see what happens. But I usually yeah, try and check out the city a little bit. Yeah. So let's talk a little bit. I mean, one of the reasons why I love Sombra uh, specifically is because I feel like uh, with a lot of characters in, in Overwatch, there's this kind of overarching theme of them being a hero and having a trait about them, but that trait not defining the character. Yeah. So for example, Tracer is a gay character but that does not define her by any means. Right. You have autistic characters, and then you have representation of, of Latin America with Sombra, but it's never like, she's not like a hokey like Latin America character where it's just kind of like everything's kind of like cheesy or whatever over the right. top. I don't How sell do burritos <laughs> or tacos. <laughs> exactly. yeah. How do you feel about the representation of Sombra as a Latin American character in the game? Oh my gosh, I'm super excited. I love that uh, they, they cared very much about making her from Mexico City, so they were very specific about the accent right. in Spanish, um, which I think is important because you have so many Mexican players and they want to be represented properly. Absolutely. And so uh, I feel honored that I could play a Mexican even though I'm not. And uh, I also like that she's, I mean, yes, I have an accent in English when I when I play Sombra, but um, I don't think it's, you know, a hokey, like you said, right. uh, kind of joke thing of like, that typical Latino talking like this, you know? <laughs> Um, so, but I like that, you know, she still has a connection to where she's from and, um, I, I feel like Blizzard does a really good job about creating, uh, three-dimensional characters yeah. that are interesting and have a lot more going than just their ethnicity or, or their, you know, whatever specific things that, like you mentioned. It's kind of cool that they, they still allow her to have like little salsa dance and everything, you know, for, for it, emo. But it's not stuff. even a salsa. It's like, uh, it's I don't know like, what the real uh, word is, no, it's not, e I'm, I'm here trying to do it. <laughs> You're um, the running it's, man it's right now. It's not a Hispanic dance at all. So is that's, what, no, no, no. Uh, salsa would be different. It would be more like, oh, yeah, this. you're right, yeah. I'm showing you right now. No, it's um, but it. no, so, so even that is not, it's not like a Mexican dance, right. which is, it's fun. It's just like, how would this character Cute dance? And, thing. Yeah. We like uh, Lucy doing the hustle with her. Thing. Right, exactly. Right? Like, is that Swiss German? Not really. Yeah. <laughs> so you came in. Well, Sombra came in as a, as a later character in Overwatch as well. It wasn't one of the original kind of um, cast, if you will. And then when they brought her in, they did this kind of like very epic ARG game thing, yeah. which dragged on for a little while. Um, but it was super in depth and interesting, and people got like hyper into it. Were you a part of that? Like, were you a part of any of that, or did they nope. just say record your lines and just hide until someone says go? Or well, I recorded lines. They said your character comes out November 5th or whenever BlizzCon was. And I was okay. like, okay. But they didn't tell me. I was like, what is ARG? When a fan asked me right. that at the panel, I was like, I have no idea what you're talking about. So I'm glad I didn't know about that hype because I think yeah. that, yeah, it would have just, I, I, I wouldn't have understood it, first of all. And I just would have <laughs> been like, oh, my gosh, so are they dropping clues? What's going on? I think it's better when you don't know stuff and then, boom, it just happens and you can be pleasantly surprised. I think they kind of learned um, that the fans were a little thrown off with that one when they released Brigida because they were just like, let's just throw her out there and like, they right, enjoy right. it, you know. But, um, but I, th I think Sombra's a very, very interesting uh, character, and especially the way she came to be. Uh, do you affiliate at all with any of, like, do, do you dig the hacker status? Is that a cool oh, thing for yeah, you? Oh, yeah, I think it's so badass. Did you watch, I mean, like, hackers in the 90s oh, and all that? Well, I'm no, because I, 
when we go in to do voice work, I mean, I think for on camera work, you do uh, you do a little more research with your character because right. you're on screen and you're doing stuff, and, and it's a little bit more in depth. They have to see you. With voice works, it was like this is what she does, but like a lot of my lines, yes, are about hacking, but it's not like I need to understand it so in depth. It is not. You don't have to learn the inner workings of coding exactly. or anything like exactly. that to sort of get it. Done. And there's a lot more to her than just what she hacks, you know. Right. So it was more. Uh, I think the more important thing was understanding uh, uh, her essence and right. and her wit and her sarcasm and dark She's sense of humor. She's a little snarky. A little, little snarky. A little yeah, <laughs> I think. In yeah. a good way. Yeah. Um, so the anniversary event uh, is, I think it's ending this weekend, correct? I, think it's like, I, it's I have no idea, but sure. <laughs> okay. Did, <laughs> Did they did they clue you in on any of the anniversary stuff? Did they like uh, they just no? Don't really I mean, for the most part, uh, say I recorded something in May and okay. I recorded I know who's been naughty, <laughs> and then I wait for months and then Christmas comes around and they release that. So wow. um, we could have recorded stuff for the anniversary, but we weren't aware. You wouldn't that it was even for know that. that it was for the anniversary when you did it. Yeah, sometimes they let us know. Oh, like it's clearly a Halloween line, but you know we don't always know when things are going to be released. So I just wow. wait till it's online before I can retweet or say anything just because I assume it's not online until it is, you know? Um, did Do you get to play the game at all? Have you played the game at all? I'm I assuming you tried. I played BlizzCon and I failed miserably. <laughs> okay. So I have a uh, I have an Overwatch date in two weeks with a friend of mine. Okay. Uh, have you heard of Detroit Becoming Human? Yes, absolutely. So my friend Brian plays Connor. In yes. the in the in Absolutely. the game, he was in the and demo too. Yeah, yeah, and he's been he's been Twitch live streaming. So we're gonna do a Twitch session, and it'll be fun. Um, I'm scared. Are you gonna play yourself and do the voice lines? Uh, if I can double like multitask, that would sure. freak people out. I remember they had um, the, I, I, the name escapes me now, but the fellow that plays Genji. I'm oh sure yeah, Gaku. Know. He, uh, they made him play. They had Ro the guy who does the voice for Roadhog teaching Josh. him to play. Yep, yep. And then they had him over the microphone just consistently oh saying, I need healing. I, I need, need healing. healing. I'm <laughs> Genji. just the best thing yeah. ever. Uh, I, yeah. I'm going to try. We'll see. Because uh, sometimes you just focus on not dying. Too, so much thing, too many things going yeah. on. Can't I might just go, die, die, die. That'll work. Because I'm dying. Just, just be a reaper, sure. Yeah, right? <laughs> Um, and have you followed the, the league at all, um, as far I, as that goes? Well, I went twice. Okay. We went, um, I went with Symmetra and a few other peeps. We showed up and, and, you know, it's so fast and hard to understand. It's a little, yeah, I could see it's a little confusing for the... Also because they have a know. bunch of screens and they keep switching, so you're never really just oh, they following have, they, do one. Oh, do they have multiple viewpoints yes. going at the same time? Yes. That's interesting. And I'm just like, who died? How did they die? What happened? <laughs> So it's it's hard to follow, I, uh, but I, I've yeah. gone to support it, and I think it's awesome. And I'm I mean I'm just really proud that this has gotten so far. It's amazing. It's we were uh, talking to Lucy about the Mercy skin that just came out mm -hmm. for the Breast Cancer yep. Foundation as well. That was yeah. a huge success, and that's one of the I think coolest things that can come yeah. out of a game like this is not only the fact that you have sort of representation for for different characters as well, but the fact that they use their powers for good. You know, oh they gosh. kind of like they, yeah. they, they they try and do all these kind of events for charity and things like that, which I think is just so wonderful. Yeah, um, I hope there are, there's more to come yeah absolutely yeah. um so what are you working on right now like because obviously like somber's kind of like occasionally i guess you go to the studio and you and you do something is what other things are going on in your besides life besides right a now? ton of cons to meet the fabulous overwatch community right. um i have recorded for a new video game okay that will be announced soon which is Ooh, super is it exciting E3? Is it I maybe all maybe right, all right. And um, uh, I am going to record for some other stuff coming up, but uh, we can't talk about it till it comes out. Totally so. fine. And then some animation stuff for Cartoon Network and Disney, little things here and there. Um, but I'm always auditioning for film and TV. Gotcha. And, you know, just hoping that it just keeps growing in terms of, of work. We just want to constantly be working. Absolutely. So, yeah. And is there like, is it, I mean, obviously there's a difference between doing voice acting and, and sort of regular acting, if you will. Yeah. But what, what do you think is the most distinct difference? Is it a comfort level thing? Like the fact that when you're voice acting, you can, I mean, I guess you do have to kind of put yourself in the mindset of the characters still even yeah. though you're in a vocal booth but is there more preparation in one than the other i think for on camera there's more preparation definitely because you will one have, have to, to learn like your lines your you have to be off off script which when we record in the booth we we're never we're always reading a script so we're never right. um we're never off book but you know it's acting with your whole body and being on camera you, and and talking to somebody it's you're using your whole instrument versus acting it's you're, you're acting again well, right. i do act with my whole body when i'm in the booth but um th somehow it's more freeing because it doesn't matter all the weird faces you're making because it's just about how you sound and so right. I, I love that i can also play characters that i don't look like in the booth because if i sound like this you know 
Like, <laughs> if this was on screen, it would be kind of weird. Uh, but absolutely. as a little, you know, little bug in a movie, it's right. totally believable. So I feel like the booth is freeing in some ways. Um, but on camera is also really fun. I just think they're different animals, you know? Well, you were talking about your friend that does Connor for Detroit yeah. Beyond Human. I know that Detroit Beyond Human has been kind of uh, renowned for this sort of this amazing mocap that they have yes. using that. Yep. So that is almost yep. equivalent to oh, full totally. body no, no, that's, like, thing. Well, that, you know? that I, I consider that full body acting because right. I mean his face is there you it's know it's in him the game, yeah, yeah and you are using your whole instrument so right. um, and it's about hitting I love your how mark you keep referring to an instrument that's the it is yeah. think about it like, it makes sense I, I was thinking about um, jogging this morning you know it's not like oh we just need to keep in shape it's th we use this to act all the time yeah. so if it's not healthy we can't go on set if, if my voice is tired it's it's my, again it's my guitar that has a broken string and so if it's broken I can't properly if you're a gamer and you have carpal sound. tunnel you're out of the game for real right? you know soccer <laughs> If their knees effed up, that's their instrument. They gotta, they gotta keep it in tune. So, uh, right. yeah. Oh, thank you. <laughs> um, the the last thing I wanted to ask you was, um, how did like, how did it come about? How do you go from doing like I know you did like GTA and things like that. How did the whole somber thing like land on your doorstep, so to speak? Would you just audition like regular? Did someone, did your agent say, hey, this is, would be good for you, or like well, how did you? Well, agents kinda... always submit us for work that they consider we are good for. They okay. see a breakdown that Blizzard sends, that this company sends, and they read through them and they go, oh, you know, Lucy would be good for these roles because I, I know she can do these, uh, da, 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 Carolina, you know, they submit us and then Blizzard gives us that audition. Okay. So because I speak Spanish and can do accents, Spanish accents, they gave me this audition and I auditioned and I didn't hear for about two months from them. So I just, I kind of brushed it off Assumed and thought. Assumed it was out of the window. Yeah, but I also didn't know what it was, so I didn't worry. I'm like, okay, well, I didn't get that one. It's like, we don't get hundreds of auditions, so it's part of, you know, not booking stuff. Um, I was lucky that Blizzard was auditioning in New York because a lot of those auditions happen in L.A. And I lived in New York at the time, so I feel like uh, it was kind of just luck to... Serendipity? That, well, yeah, yes and no. I mean, I think they were looking for Hispanic characters, and right. there's a lot of Latinos in New York, so that's Makes where sense. their search happened as well. But um, it's not like Blizzard said, oh, Carolina's great. It was just like... Let's audition a bunch of Hispanic actors in New York, and I happened to be one of them, and they liked it. So, Perfect. but you know, this was my, it was my ninth year, hustling and auditioning for voice stuff. So uh, it's like I'd been doing tons of them, yeah, um, for the past years, and this just happened this to be one. This was the one that, that clicked. This one was for me. You know what I mean? And, and I'm sure you've yeah. noticed when you said you would travel around to different cons and stuff that the fan base is is rabid to say the least when it comes to Overwatch. In They're general, very excited. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and we love meeting them all over the world. That's so great. It's really cool. Every single one of the voiceover artists for Overwatch that we've met have been just the nicest people on earth, yeah. and we've uh, yeah, you're welcome. Uh, we've uh, and it's we met Charlotte Chung last year. Yeah, we had a yeah. couple others. Sweetheart. But uh, yeah, it just uh, it's been a whole lot of fun. So I just want to thank you for taking the time out oh of your gosh, your busy you. con schedule to answer a few questions. It was an absolute pleasure to meet you. Boop. I got booped. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you got booped. Boop. Thank you so much. <laughs> You're welcome. That's wonderful. And enjoy the rest of your con. Thank you. You too. Right, thank you guys. Goodbye.